Hello, I'm Mario. In this instructional video, I'm going to show you a little bit of maths about quadratic equations and a little bit of Excel so that you can learn two things at once, really, a little bit of maths and a little bit of how to use the Excel spreadsheet and some things that you can do with it. It's a very powerful spreadsheet. And it's used uh, quite a lot in engineering for a number of different purposes. So it's very uh, versatile. I think one of the biggest uh, factors about Excel is generally it's available and free, um, which is always a bit of a bonus. So, yeah, right. So here we go. So I'll just give you a bit of a heads up as to what it is that we're going to do or try to do. And uh, then... We'll start from scratch and, and uh, build it up. So, um, yeah, we're working from, I'm showing you the big picture, and then I'll show you how to get there um, with this instructional video, which may come in a few parts. I'll just keep each part down to uh, around about 10, uh, 10 minutes. So, we you know, we get some breaks along the way. Very important that we, you know, break and don't, get brain fog and things like that. So yeah, quadratic equations. So um, they, they come in, there's various forms of the quadratic equation. I guess uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, general form of the quadratic equation. And it can be solved uh, using this little uh, formula here, solved for x. Uh, this formula is on your formula sheets that you get with the course and you carry into the exam with you. Um, you know, treat it like your best friend, I guess. So you can see it's got a plus or minus. So there's a uh, two solutions, one when it's plus and one when it's minus. Uh, those two solutions can be the same, of course. And uh, it allows us to put us into a, uh, a factorized format, although that's not the the reason for it um, particularly, but it enables us to put it into this factorized format here um, when we solve for x and that these are the two values. So here's an example um, here uh, that I I've, um, want to solve, uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now you can see down here I've got another example that I've been working on, but I'll, I'll see if I can go for this one. So I've shaded these boxes here because they're input boxes. So, oh, what's my x coefficient? Well, there isn't one. Well, but if it was, it can't be zero. So I'm going to put one in there, one x, and um, you can see it's come down one x. Uh, B is a five, so I'll put a five in there. And C is 6. Okay, 6. And uh, so that, um, I've got a little check in here to see that I've keyed it in right. 1x squared plus 5x. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go there. That's all good. And then this is my solution here. x1 is negative 2 and x2 is negative 3. Now, I've got all sorts of problems um, if I do put negative numbers in, and in, in terms of what they do, but well, we'll have a look at that um, in a little while, and then we put that into the factorized form. So it's minus x1. Note that x1 is negative two, so minus that that becomes plus, and um, this one here minus that becomes plus, and so there it is in our factorized form: x plus two times x plus three. And some of us might be in the know, others maybe not. Um, don't worry. Um, this is information or things that you need to know. Um, so you'll have to, you know, back that up and, and, and follow up on that. But if we multiply this out, there's our x squared in there, plus 2x plus 3x is plus 5x, and then 2 times 3 is 6. So those of you that are have a little bit of knowledge of quadratic equations, we'll, we'll be able to see what that's all about. So there you go. Now, 
you do have um, we do have some little. Um, I mean, this program that I've got here is um, a bit of a diamond in the rough, um, so it does need some refinement. And these things with Excel, these things can be done, but they require a little bit more sophistication than we probably need at this stage of the journey. So I've kept them out of it. But um, say, for instance, if we made this uh, minus five, um, you can see that um, we get in here uh, 1x squared plus negative 5. Well, it would be nice if that was just negative and then plus 6 and things like that. So um, as you can see, um, we could write um, some, some code, I guess, um, for that. Um, but um, not just now. We'll, we'll leave that for, uh, for later. That's... Um, just um, above my pay grade at this stage, we'll say. Alrighty, so you know that's what we're going to try and do. Quite a nifty little uh, thing there that you could use, you know, to solve um, some simple quadratic equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the Windows button here uh, and the an arrow key, and that um, puts that um, there over on that side. And what I'll do now is I'll just uh, open a, um, a a new um, a new um, one here. Uh, let's see, um, sort of um, Excel. I'll just have a have another crack at it. See if I can get one to come up. Oh, maybe not. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, we'll just go new. So, oops. Things of having a bit of a nightmare here with my um, my mouse it's getting a bit of bit of a problem. Oh, what the hell is going on? Um, Okay, um, the mouse got uh, a little in <laughs> a little bit a a while there, so uh, let's just go new and um, we'll just uh, do a blank workbook, and I'm going to put that uh, on the left hand side of my screen, um, and there's uh, that one on the right. So um, yeah, a little bit of um, shenanigans there. But as you can see, that's um, our, um, I've got the one that we're aiming for on the left-hand side of the screen. We don't quite need that at this stage. And uh, here it is here. So, um, right, let's, uh, let's go and see if we can uh, get this. So I'm just going to start here. And I'm going to, I like to use an Arial font. So I'm going to change my, uh, change my font here to um, Arial, there we go, and uh, I'm going to type in solving, um, oops, uh, caps lock, uh, solving um, quadratic uh, equations. And I'm going to put that in there like that. And uh, I wanted that to be uh, underlined. And I've got that at a, at a 20 font. So, yeah, that's uh, sort of what we've got there. Uh, one thing I did do, um, I like to um, usually work on an A4 page. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah. Um, we're um, going to uh, just set it up as A4. Alrighty. Um, so layout, um, page, uh, layout, uh, size. Uh, I'm going with an A4. And, um, well, you can check the orientation. I've got it at portrait. 
Okay, and you'll see that what that does is it brings these little uh, little lines down here. So um, that's um, pretty much uh, 10 minutes right there, just uh, setting that up uh, like that. So um, I'm going to um, just uh, stop the video there and we'll um, go to part two.